In this video, we're going to do some examples where we use the trigonometric functions. And we're going to start by talking about angles that are formed by passing through a point in the coordinate plane. So in our first example, we have the terminal side of an angle, theta, passes through the point 3, 4. So we have a sketch down here. And we want to find all six trigonometric functions for theta. So we can see the point here is 3, 4. And that tells us that x is 3, so the x part down here was 3, and the perpendicular part, so we drop a perpendicular, which means we get a right angle, is 4. So now we have a triangle here with a right angle, which means our trigonometric functions are valid. And we have this angle theta that we want to find all six trig ratios for. So with reference to this angle, 4 is called the opposite side, so we'll just put OPP for opposite. The 3 here would be the adjacent side. And this side across from the 90 is called the hypotenuse. So first step we need to figure out what is the length of the hypotenuse. Well we have Pythagorean theorem so r squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. So r squared is going to be 25 which means r is going to be 5. So we know this side now is 5. We have labeled them with reference to theta, so now we can write our six trig functions. So we'll start with sine. Sine of an angle is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So for this, we get 4 over 5. The cosine of theta it's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, and these are rules you have to remember. Adjacent was the 3 over the hypotenuse, which is 5. Tangent, then, is equal to opposite over adjacent, which for this triangle, opposite was 4, and adjacent is 3. So there's your three primary trig functions. We need all six, so we need secondary as well. So cosecant of theta. It's 1 over sine of theta, the reciprocal of sine, which is 5 over 4. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine theta, so in this case 5 over 3. We just flip the cosine, and cotan theta is equal to 1 over tan theta, or reciprocal of tan, which is 3 over 4. And there's the exact value of all six trigonometric functions for the angle theta given in that diagram. So we'll move to example two then, and we'll find the exact values for the sine of theta equal a half. We need cosine theta and cosecant theta. We're going to start with sketching the diagram, so we'll draw our axis. We'll draw in standard position, so theta is here. Drop a perpendicular and we'll put theta in. Now, we know that the sine of the angle, so sine of theta, is equal to 1 over 2. But we also know that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse of this triangle we just drew has to be 2, and opposite of theta, so across from it, it has to be 1, and that comes from 1 over 2. So we need to find this side down here, which we'll label x. So from Pythagorean theorem, we know that 2 squared, or 4, has to equal 1 squared plus x squared. Move that to the left, we end up with 3 equals x squared, or x is equal to square root of 3. Now we can get a decimal approximation here, but note that the question wants exact values, so we have to leave the exact square root, which is root 3. We need to find the cosine of theta then. So cosine of theta, well that's the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And in this case, adjacent is the x, so root 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. So there's cosine theta. Cosecant theta, well that's the reciprocal of sine theta. And we could do that without the calculator, we just have to flip sine. So we get 2 over 1, or simply 2. So there's example b. And we'll finish then with example C. Given sine theta is 3 over 4, so again, we're going to draw a sketch because we're looking for exact values. And we have theta 
we put a perpendicular opposite because sine remember is opposite over hypotenuse we use Pythagorean theorem just like we did above to find x so x is going to be equal to the square root of 4 squared minus 3 squared just written a different way but same rules so x is going to be root 7 16 minus 9 so root 7 for x we need 10 so 10 of theta is going to be opposite over adjacent we also need cotan of theta which is 1 over 10 of theta so we can find that shortly and we need secant theta which is 1 over cosine of theta and we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and so we'll find that so 10 opposite, well opposite theta is 3 adjacent is x which is root 7 so 3 over root 7 cotan is the reciprocal of that so that's going to be root 7 over 3 flip that over secant well that's 1 over cosine which is 1 over the adjacent over the hypotenuse which means the hypotenuse comes on top and we get the hypotenuse which is 4 divided by adjacent which is x or root 7 and so there's the exact values of those three trig functions we'll stop that lesson there then if you have any questions or you're struggling with those come see me get help send me an email Go to the Math Help Center, but make sure you can do these as they will come up again. In the next lesson, we'll work a little more with the trig functions before we then begin moving into solving triangles. So we'll see you in the next lesson.